Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is David and today I will be teaching you how to use HTML to build your first website. Firstly, what is HTML? The full meaning of HTML is hypertext markup language. Now HTML, the main purpose of HTML is to build a web page. Okay? That's just the main purpose of HTML. Now, I'm just going to be giving you um, a brief explanation of what this web page is going to look like. Okay? Now, we are building just with HTML. No CSS, no JavaScript. Now, what's, what, what does this entail? Now, building a web page is just like building and erecting a building. That's a normal house, standard. Okay? Now, if you're building a house, First of all, you don't start building from the top. You start building from the foundation. Okay. Now, HTML is similar to the foundation of a website. Okay. Foundation of the, that is giving the particular, the website a structure. Okay. That is describing the structure of the web page. All right. So that's just what um, the HTML is all about. Okay. Just like building a house, erecting a house. You have to start from the foundation, then start erecting. The structure you give the foundation is what you're going to use to build the house up standing. Okay? So that's what the HTML is all about. All right? Now, introducing CSS. CSS is basically like giving the uh, the website a good, you know, presentation. You're, 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 making it, you're making a website presentable. Just like your house, the structure that you're building it's presentable to the eyes that means you put, you plaster the building you paint the building you give it a good color okay so that's just what the css is all about now javascript introducing javascript to a web page is similar to having doors and windows you know having doors and windows in your house so that's just what introducing javascript to a web page is all about making the web page dynamic and functional that's what the javascript programming language is all, is all about now very very importantly i get um, one of these questions from my students is that david is html a programming language i told them straight immediately straight up that no html is not a programming language html is just a markup language that is written with markup tags now programming languages like javascript and php they work, they, they use the, the, the more of logics, okay? They use more of logics and conditions to actually, you know, get their work done. So it's a no-no. HTML is just a markup language and not a programming language, okay? Now, very, very importantly, again, HTML consists of series of elements, okay? Very, very importantly, everything about the HTML is going to boil down to elements okay so i'm going to be explaining to you what the tags and what elements are all about in the course of the lecture okay and lastly lastly elements hm element tells the browser how to display the contents now we need we need two things okay we need your text editor we need the text editor that's a code editor where you're going to be writing the code okay that's where you're going to be writing the code your element and everything and also we need the browser to get the display the end result of what you've actually written okay so those are the two most important things that we need for this particular lecture now let's dive into the first thing let's dive into the code the first thing we're going to be needing is the visual studio code so i'm just going to come down here all right now let's go to visual studio code okay so just go to visual studio code all right so let's click here now this is the visual studio code powered by microsoft so we're going to be using this code editor in the course of this lecture so what you just need to do is to come to this website if you don't have it on your pc just come down here and download for windows you can also look down here and uh, you will see here to actually download for mac os and linux and uh, windows okay so just select the one that's uh, suitable for your window and download it and run it it's very very easy to run and you'll be happy that you did so now let's move on to the course of this lecture now let's minimize this okay also we're going to minimize this so firstly we're going to create a new folder so let's do that right now so right click then go down to new 
I'm gonna have my first website. All right, click enter. So that's a new folder. Then secondly, um, I'm sure by now you you have already installed the Visual Studio code. So go down to this Visual Studio code application. So we're gonna have that here. So the next step we're gonna take is to bring in the folder we just opened into our Visual Studio code. So we just click on file. So we we'll go to the add folder to workspace, then click on it. I have my folder in my desktop, so I'll go to my desktop, then I have the folder right here. So I click on it and I have I click on this add button there. So automatically it brings the folder into the workspace here. Now we're going to create a new HTML file. So I'm going to, how am I going to do that? So just click on this uh, option. We have new file. So just click on that. So you can give the name, you can give it any name, your HTML file. So, but the bottom line here is that the name you are giving it must have the extension at the end of it with .html. So without that, the browser, the uh, program, we now recognize it as an HTML file. So every HTML file you are opening, you are creating, must have an extension with .html. Very, very important. So I'm just going to have index.html. Okay, so index signifies the landing page. So I'm sure uh, one or two ways, um, you know, you'll be hearing You'll be seeing this index, you know, you'll be asking yourself, what, what does this index mean? Index means that that is a landing page of that particular web page, website or web application. Now let's move on. Click enter. Okay, so we have our index.html right here. So I'm just free to click here. Now, moving on, I'm going to be explaining what um, tags is and also i'm going to explain in what html element is now firstly the tags what are tags tags are like keywords which defines how the web browser will format and display the content something like keywords that's why we have what we call tag names okay so it comes in pairs so we have the opening tag and we have the closing tag now i'm going to be showing you what that sound what that looks like so this here paragraph so this is a P tag standing um, means the paragraph tag. Now the first one here we have here is the opening tag and also we have the closing tag. Now if you look at this, uh, it's quite looking the same but the difference here is that in the closing tag there is a forward slash right here. Now this is how the tag look like and this is what we are going to be using in building our HTML structure page. Okay. So very, very importantly, we have the opening tag and we have the closing tag. Okay. Along the line, I'm going to be showing you other tags that doesn't have a closing tag. Okay. We call them single things. Okay. They don't have a closing tag. They're just self-closing tags. All right. Now let's move on to HTML element. Now the HTML element is everything from the start, the content and the closing tag. Okay. So there must be something going into that particular tag okay so what makes it an element is because there is a content going into the opening and the closing tag so we have the opening tag we have the content and we have the closing tag for example i'm gonna have this here hey this oh sorry okay this is my first website and I am super excited. Okay. Now what we have here is um, this is an HTML element now. Okay. So the HTML element is everything from the opening tag, the content, and the closing tag. So that's just all you need to know about the HTML tags and the um, HTML elements. Okay, now let's let's try to get a result of this. 
so what you are going to do is that I'm going I'm using a live server here okay so we're gonna go live but firstly um, just come down here go to extension okay so search on live server okay so just click on that and um, click on this install button so once you install it then you can take it off all right so once that is installed just click on this here so click to live server so immediately it opens the browser for us and um, we have our result right here okay so that's how we're going to be doing it in the course of this lecture all right take this off all right nextly now i'm going to be introducing what we call the html structure okay so basically um before we start building applications web page and the rest we have to, we have a lay down structure that we're going to be uh, introducing into our web our html file and it's very very important that we have those structure laid down because if you don't have those structure laid down uh, you won't be able to introduce some other files okay you won't be able to you know it's so you won't be able to do a lot of things you know you have css you have javascript we have other things that we need to bring into this html file so without the structure in place you can't be able to do that so it's very very important that we bring the structure in place so how are we, the next thing we're going to do i'm going to show you what we're going to do now firstly we're going to have in here a doc type so we have doc type here html now this is um, um describing the version of the html we're actually working with now let's come down and put in the root element which is html okay the root element is html then we have the head element right here okay let's put the head now inside the head element we have all the information um, pertaining this particular document so informations like the title informations like the meta tags that we have also in this add element we have in the informations like the css link we have the javascript uh, the script link also in this particular head element so i'm just going to be giving us um, the important ones that we're going to be using for this particular website so firstly we have the title so we just have there my first website okay so that will be the title of the page now let's come down it and put some meta so we have the meta and um, this we have the character sets now this is setting the character for this particular page so we have utf8 now what really is this utf8 is a character set okay and um, basically it's a unicode character encoding and it's used virtually in all websites around the world okay so that's what this utf is actually called so it's a unicode character encoding okay now let's move on to the next meta that we have oh sorry so we have meta all right so we just have here let's put a name so we have viewports i'm just going to explain this later let's just put it down so next layer we have content attributes okay so we have width equal device hyphen width and we have comma we have initial hyphen scale then equals one all right so i'm, I'm just going to explain what this is all about now the uh, the viewport here is responsible for responsive design okay so um, it adjusts itself on the different screen sizes okay that's what the, the the viewport is all about here then the width device i pin width so this um makes the width of the website the same as all devices viewing it okay it just makes it the same as all devices that's the width it makes it the same as all devices that we review in that particular website now initial skill is um, talking about the zoom okay the zoom of the website 
that's what that is um, actually talking about now let's move on we have some other uh, meta information that we pass in here but uh, we're not going to be treating that here okay and um, inside this head element also you can also pass in css um, links and uh, you can have your css um, um, internal css inside this um, each, um, this head element also and you can have your script you can bring in your script link inside this particular uh, element so it's a, it's a very beautiful thing that um, you're going to be knowing so that won't be for this uh, class we're just dealing with html now let's move on to the body element let's move on to the body element now this body element is um this is where everything on that particular side will be visible okay this word this is where everything we are dealing on this particular site this is the part whereby is going to be visible on the browser okay so everything that you're going to be seeing on the browser is already is should be inside the body element so that's what this body element is all about okay now i'm going to be showing you um well we're going to be working on some stuff here so i'm going to be showing you some basic um some basic um, tags that I'm going to be explaining to us. So firstly, we have H1. So we have mm, yeah. All right, so I'm just going to be explaining to us some basic tags that we have for HTML. Okay, so the first one I'm going to we're going to be talking about is the add element. The add element. Okay, now we have um, six types, six kinds of add element. We have the H1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. All right, so let's just do that. So we have H1. Okay, so we have this is my first website. Okay. All right, so we have H2. Just another website okay let's give it h3 that's your web plus i'm just gonna copy and paste the remaining so we have four let's put that here it's gonna change the um, content that we have there so we have five here and then we have six right here okay so let's change this to of web dev okay so developer uh studio web experts we are an expert all right now let's go check this out okay now very very importantly um I'm using the live server so just come down here to extension and um, just input live server just write uh, live server here so it takes you right here okay it takes you right here um, the live server option just go there and install and click on the install button to so install it right there okay so after installing it so what you just need to do is to click um, go to live server here okay what you just need to do is to go live so just click on the go live button right there and um, it takes us right here so we have um we have a header here so we have the h1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and uh, basically what we have here is uh, really simple now the h1 you can use it for a title you know you have title for um, in particular content you have on your uh, website then the h2 you can use for subtitles you know then h3 you can use it you know to you can include it in uh, maybe a, a, a much lower title or something you can just include it somewhere in your uh, web site or web page now let's move on sorry now let's move on now we have the paragraph okay now this paragraph is uh, we call it a block element okay 
Now, one thing about paragraph is that whenever you're using the paragraph, uh, it gives you it, it, it gives you a new line. Okay, it gives it a new line. So, um, no matter how many paragraph you're having, okay. So every content that you're having inside the paragraph is going to be giving us new new lines. Okay. So it's a block element we have in HTML. So let's just go bring in some dummy words. So just come here, lowering in soon. Okay. So these are just dummy Latin words, uh, rubbish words that we just bring into our uh, website. Okay. It's not um, just copy what we have here. I don't want much. Let's copy that. Control C to copy. Now we'll go back and um, let's put the paragraph here. Paragraph tag. Okay, then you can paste. <clears throat> All right. So let me just cut that here. All right. Now I'm just gonna copy what we have here. Okay, and paste it underneath here so we can go to our browser and see. Okay. So we have um, the paragraph here. So first paragraph, then this is another paragraph. So you see that um, they are actually they actually um, they have down new lines. Okay, just the way I'll explain the um, other time. So we have the first paragraph here on the new line. Then we have the second paragraph here on the new line. So that's just what this is all about. Okay. Now I'm going to be showing you some style tags, the uh, basic style tags that we have in HTML, and um, these style tags you can actually uh, use CSS to achieve all these things that we have here. But um, you know what we are doing here, we're not using any, uh, we're not, we're not making use of CSS or or JavaScript or any other language. We're just talking about uh, HTML, just call HTML. So. That's what um, I'm going to be showing you some of these tags, the style tags that we can actually include into our HTML files. Okay. Now, firstly, um, let me just paste this here and um, take this off. Now, firstly, I'm going to be introducing the bold tag. So we, we call it bold tag. It's just a B. Okay. Just a B. So we'll come here and I'll we'll close it up here okay so let's go check this out here okay so we see that this is a bold tag okay it makes the content look uh, you know bold in the text of the content all right so now i'm going to introduce what we call a break line element break line tag i mean so this is a break line tag it helps to you know bring uh it it's it's it helps to give us a line break on our html document so um, very very easy so now let's bring in italic i okay now let's uh, italic close this up here okay so let's go check that out all right so this is italic you know, slanty uh, represented on our text give it that slanty look so i'm still going to use a brick tag also so next uh we're gonna have the underline so we use u okay we use the u for the underline so up here so i'll break here so this. all right so let's go check that out okay so let's see that's an underline okay on the um text of the words all right next we have strong so this is kind of um like the bold okay so it's kind of the same thing with the bold okay so you either you're using um, the bold tag or you're using the strong um tag so actually doing the same thing so check that out so you see it's actually doing the same thing now lastly uh we have emphasize okay, yeah. okay so this is actually just like our um just like our italic okay so no there's no difference between the both of them okay so let's go check that so it gives us 
the words um, slanty looking Turks all right so that's it about um, what we have here on our style tags now very very importantly the next thing we're going to be working on is how to link one HTML file to another HTML file okay very very easy so basically what this is talking about is that uh, we have websites that you know you come across a website that you know you have uh, you try to open one page okay so you see a link okay and you click on that link and they give you access to another page okay just for example you come to a website and you see in the navigation section right at the top you see um, the options for home about services portfolio project and all those stuff so you go and click on maybe portfolio you click on the button on the link there it gives you access to go to that page so that's what this particular link is all about okay we're trying to link two particular um, separate html file together and how do we achieve that we achieve that using an anchor anchor tag okay so we call it an a tag or an anchor tag then i'm going to introduce um, an attribute called href now inside this um, href that's hypertag reference uh, that is where uh, the link that the link of the site or the page that you want link to is going to be passed in there. So let's just try um, link it to Google page. Okay, so to oh, sorry, so slash www.google.com. All right, so let's go back. Okay, so you click here okay it takes us to google home page so that's just what this is all about okay so also we can actually do it in such a way that whenever we click on the link it opens a new tab for us okay so we do that using the attribute called target and we have underscore blank to actually achieve that so let's go back and um, let's try clicking on the link again okay so you see it opens up a new tab for us so i, I believe uh, we've come across some things like this on different sites that you click on a particular link and um you didn't you didn't use the you know right click and um, link open you, you didn't you didn't try to open a new tab with it but once you just click on the um, link button it opens a new tab for you automatically this is what is actually responsible for doing that uh, in that particular um, file okay now let's move on to the next thing that we have to do now we can create images uh, with our HTML tags also so what we just need to do is to use what we call the HTML tag so we just uh, image okay just this okay so we have source so this is so this is where the link of the image or the name of the image file is going to be passed in so we just go and um, get an image here so we just go to pixels sorry pixels.com and um, let me just download a free image okay something okay I'll just use this all right and then we have download select size uh, free to download and i'm just trying to download um just an image that we can use for that okay so we'll just come here okay i see that here goes our image so i'm just gonna pick that up so copy that image and take it to my desktop where i have my first website and um, paste it right there okay so just rename so image one okay now let's go back to our text editor all right so we just see that so we have image one the jpeg okay so what we just need to do is to you know put in the name image one dot jpg okay so we have that there okay so let's go check that again so we'll go to our first website and yeah so that goes our image okay so it's kind of um, a lot it's kind of big so what we need to do i'm going to show you how to resize the image so 
we're gonna do is that we're gonna do that using the attribute width so let me just give it um 600 then we just give the height 400 okay so this way we can resize the image all right so this is what we have here okay so you see it's looking much um, smaller now so i'm just going to put a brick line tag here so you can bring it to the bottom of that all right so we have our image right here okay very 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 easy okay now let's move on to the next thing that we need to do so i'm going to be showing you how you can actually list out items with html so we have two ways that we can actually list out items we have the ordered list and we have the on other list okay so the on other list is going to be represented with something we call the bullet sign okay just can't something like a bullet okay so uh the ordered that's the order that's for the unordered now the ordered uh, list is giving us the numeric value so one two three four five to you know when you will stop or infinity or stop that's where you want to stop so that's it now we're just let's just do something on you okay so i'm just going to put in you so li is for lists okay you is for on order lists then li is the list items that you want on the ordered on other list so let's say i'm just going to be listing out some fruits so we have oranges i love oranges okay so next listing out um, Pineapple. So L I again. So we have mangoes, and um, we have L I. We have grapes. Yep, we have grapes. All right. Now let's go check this out. So come down here. Let's go check it on the browser. All right, so we have our list right here. So we see that this giving us the list, the unordered list on, um, is giving us a bullet, okay? That's what we have here. But we, if we go change this UL, okay, which is an unordered list and put OL right there, okay? So we're gonna see what that is gonna give us. So let's go back, okay? So this will give us represented represent it uh, in a num numeric values okay so that's for the ol so let's just go back and use a ul okay now another thing you need to know is that we can actually nest we can bring in another list okay inside this particular list we can nest we can we can create a nested list okay trying to bring in a list inside of another list so let's just go to apples i'm just going to be giving us some um, you know types apple types here so we have um li and we have here we have golden i just give it golden delicious oh what's that spelling delicious okay li we have one smith okay and the last level is all right oh man nice all right now we see we have this nested here okay we have the list items and we have inside of apples another list item represented here so basically in html we call this uh this is the child element okay we call this a child element okay and we call this the parent element now this is the child element and this is the parent element that's how we refer to it in html okay now let's move on to what we have to do next now uh and then wrapping this up i'm going to be showing you how to use tables okay how to use tables now tables are just arrangement of data in rows and columns arrangement of data in rows and columns okay so let's move on and um, create a table tag all right 
now we have what we call tr so that's table row okay sure i'm just going to be giving us um we're going to be having the row okay right here and um, the row the table row now is going to be having the table head so we have th right here okay so which is represented as the table here so i'm just going to be giving us some stuff so we have months okay um just copy 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 um, copy and paste so we have rent all right so next let's just put utility okay next uh, we have food next we have clothes and um, next we have entertainment all right now let's go check this out let's go check this out over here okay so we have um the uh, uh, the head so we have the month rent utility food um clothes and um, entertainment so i'm just going to be giving this some values okay and um just giving some monetary values for this now the next thing we just come here we put in another tr okay that's for another row then inside that tr now we're gonna have td which is table data so i'm just gonna be giving um the values for what we have for um, represented in the head here yeah? so months i'm just gonna give it august all right then rent cd just giving 2000 okay uh the, let's just copy and paste that okay utility just gonna give it 1500 all right so food let's give it 500 okay so clothes let me give glow to um, a 250 okay then entertainment going out with a drink or club something let's give it um 500 oh let's give it 550 we already have 500 there all right so now let's check that out okay so we have this um represented right here but if you look at this table it's not looking really cool okay because um we have we don't have the borders around this table okay so it's kind of looking scattered and um, not well in the operation table but let's go back and let's add in a border so we just come down here and we give it a border attribute and we give it one okay so let's go back and we see okay so we see that we have a border right here okay so we can also choose to give it you know more dimension giving it 10 okay 10 now you see that it thickens the outer part of that particular table all right so um it's not gonna t it's not gonna take in the entire taking the entire um, um border we have they're just the outer part of that okay so i'm just gonna take it to my back to my one now we can also use what we call cell padding okay so cell padding is um giving up let's, let's just use the dimension the turn okay now cell padding we give us all right it will give you give us a padding around each one of the cells okay so we have this is the cell it will give us a padding around there okay just give us a space a padding around it now also we can use what we call cell spacing okay cell spacing let's give it 10 also okay all right so you see what cell spacing is actually doing okay giving the space around the cell okay not inside the cell this time now this is outside uh the cell so let me just go back i don't want any space outside the cell so i'm just going to take that to zero okay all right so looks very much better right now okay now let's move on 
so in case um i have um a i i, I want to do something really cool um maybe i want to give this utility two cells okay so maybe we have um you know we have payment for utility we have a rent um no utility view we have the nepa uh maybe you have the um, the light view sorry and uh, we have the cable view so those are two separate views so what we are going to do here is to you know divide it okay so how are we going to do that so maybe we want to give maybe the light bill for a thousand and the cable bill for 500 so we just come down here okay so what i'm going to do here i'm just going to put here a thousand copy paste then take that off give it 500 all right so but if you look down here you will see that now it pushes this particular stuff out it pushes the um the row out here so we're good, we're, we're, we we have to do it in such a way that it fits into this utility um uh, option right here so just come back here then we'll go to utility i'm gonna use um call span we're gonna use attribute called call span then we give it two all right so let's go back there so we see what we have here so we have inside utility we have a thousand and um, for the light bill and we have 500 for the um, cable bill all right so very very easy now another thing we need to do is that maybe you know i want to list out you know i have um three more you know rows here okay and um, i want to define what we have here as a record okay i want to define it uh, giving it one um particular um one particular row just giving it what we call record i want to define this particular table so for instance let's just do something so we can understand that so i'm just going to copy what we have here i'm pasting it two times all right so come down here so just give this um june here yeah, we we'll give this to learn okay all right so let's go check that out okay so we have june july august so basically i want in here at the front of this row i want to put something like record okay that's a record for this table so what i'm going to do here is that i will go to the very top that's um where july is and um, open create a new table so we have td i'm just going to give it for record okay so let's go check that out firstly okay so you see that it actually pushes every other thing out okay so what i'm going to do next is to come to the front of this all right and give an attribute called row span and i'm going to give it the three story dimension so let's go back oh let's go back since we have this oh 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 oh, oh. sorry not in sorry about that let's take this off here yeah. And bring it to June, not July, not July, June. Sorry, let's take that off there. All right, so better still. Let's go check that now. All right, so you see what we have taking off the entire um, list, okay? Table. So we have this here having its own very um, rule, um, rule, yeah. Now, this is not arranged properly. properly so we are still going to have to do something to this that we make every one of the rows and columns match what we have on the head here so how do we achieve that we just come down to the first row okay just open a new um, table here there 
and um, that's all so if we go back and check you see it gives it matches what we have right here so very very easy so we have the mount rent utility food clothes and entertainment and in at this part here we have the record okay all right that's it for this particular part so i believe you have a good understanding of what we did we did quite a lot and um, i'm gonna be i'm here to you know guide you through the process so if you have any problem just don't hesitate to you know message me up okay so we can uh, you know i can help you out with your problem all right that's all for now thank you for your time and um before you go make sure you subscribe okay and uh, click on the notification button so anytime i bring in putting upload a new uh, video you'll be notified all right thank you and bye for now